Ready to Veni Vidi Vecchi? I'm ready to talk to Tessa. Just try to keep in mind that your memory of her is ten years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. So I'm guessing this is Michael? Come on, Tyler. Don't be slow. Hey, you. Hey, isn't it your day off? Yep, we're here as patrons. Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying coworker I was telling you about. <sighs> I was there for your introduction of marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying coworker. Rude. <laughs> Don't worry. She told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. The Tyler talk goes on 24-7, so I feel like I already know you. So, uh, you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or...? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. We'll get it cleaned up faster if we literally cannot escape it. Hey, I'm all for efficiency. Cannot wait for us to get out of here. <sighs> What's that? Oh, uh, Michael is moving to Juno, too. Oh, and did you guys plan on moving together, or...? Well, I mean, yeah. It'll be cheaper to share a place, but nothing's set in stone. Makes sense. There could be room for you, too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. I'm studying to be a chef, so, uh, you know it'll be good eating. And hey, I only snore during allergy season. And baseball. <laughs> How can I say no to that? <laughs> <sighs> you okay? Dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah, there's this spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill, especially first thing in the morning. Shut up. I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, if you want to go sometime, holler at me. I don't mind sharing. Cool. Most guys I know get all Smeagol about their fishing spots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you two. Bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish. Even if she filled the lake with cyanide first. I'm not... Ugh, never mind. Tyler, we better get started with our shopping. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. There. I want to have the crispy tocino, and noodles and spring rolls. And can we get the coconut cake for dessert? Easy, easy, my hungry goblins. We have to leave some food for the other customers. But Auntie Tessa said we can have whatever we want. Man, I miss Tessa's cooking. She still make those, what are they called? Fried banana rolls? Tehran? Right. Mm. No, I'm pretty sure she made them special for us. Isn't that always better, though? When you know something's made for you? Well, hello, Miss Ronan. Did you forget something in the office? No, just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? Your brother? Oh, right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. <laughs> well, I did shower this morning. <laughs> did you just get back into town, or...? More or less. We've been working out at the old house. But, surprise, surprise, after ten years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things. Hence the supply run. Ah, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. It must be nice to be home. Uh, I'm not sure nice is the word for it. Oh, of course. I assume being there feels... complicated. That's one way to describe it. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. I'm sure she'll be around later, though. Great. Okay. So we need candles and an all-purpose cleaner. Plus snacks and drinks. Um, 
starving. You think you could take a picture of this? Look, all the good fishing spots are marked. I don't have my phone on me. And you know you could just Google all this later, right? Are you kidding, Allison? Old fishermen aren't gonna share this kind of juicy intel on the internet. So if they're not going to share it on the internet, hey, why Tyler, are they sharing it in person? Remember the Trout King? Yeah, I saw it. I thought Tom might have retired him by now. Are you kidding? He never misses a chance to tell customers he won a trout derby. It was a 12-pounder. <laughs> hey, have you still not picked anything out? Oh, uh, remind me what we need again. Repeat after me. An all-purpose cleaner, candles, drinks, and some snacks. All right. I got it. I got it. I assume I'm going to look too, but... I didn't mean to turn that on. So, what are you thinking snack-wise? Are you a candy girl or a chips girl? Hmm. Depends on the day. I think today would be a candy girl. Oh man. I haven't had a candy bar in forever. Candy was currency at Fireweed, like ramen in state prison. Well, you won't need to trade any shifts for these. Mm. Michael, you want me to pick up some birch syrup for you? Is that some roundabout way of asking me to make you two my world famous pancakes? Ooh, Maybe. busted. Let's see, fresh cut peonies, triple layer chocolate chip cake, Toasted marshmallow. Are you doing a dramatic reading of the fancy ass cookbook? <laughs> nope. Just browsing these fancy ass candles. Hmm. Plain candles are fine. Oh wait, no. It's not no, fair, I couldn't read. Him. How do people eat this? Ugh, snob much? It's not that bad. Weren't you the picky eater when we were kids? Keyword when we were kids. <laughs> Remember how we would stage sit-ins at the candy aisle? What do we want? Candy corn! When do we want it? Before we go home! Ah, candy corn. So nasty. Hey! 30 bucks for a bottle of birch syrup? It's worth it. Michael refuses to serve his pancakes with anything else, and they're the best part of waking up. So I got the candles. Michael grabbed the snacks. Hey, or Tyler, cream, sorry. We can keep it cool in the snow. Ice cream? In 20 degree weather? Ice cream in all weather. That's a point. What do we still need to get? I haven't found the cleaning stuff yet. And I'm still debating whether to get the off-brand cola or something fancy. Like orange soda. Man, I haven't shopped like this in ages. Take your time and enjoy it. Tyler, you want water, soda, juice? Whatever you want. I'm not picky. Wish any of it sounded good. Can't read any of it. Oh, duh. Menu papillon, grape soda, geek, gla gla water. Uh, grape soda, grape it soda. is. Ooh, getting wild. <laughs> Shut up, Tyler. All right, cleaning stuff. Hygiene cleaning products. Okay. Strawberries in no. Any opinion on cleaning products? Only that using them is an unfortunate way to spend an afternoon. Organic clean, boomerang, all surface, all purpose. I'll uh, take the strong one. Yeah, it's probably for the best. <laughs> we all saw the house. Okay, I think we're done here. Tom will ring us up at the counter. Well, I work here. I know how it works. I'm not stupid, Tyler. Will that be all? Dot, yes. Dot, dot. Thank you, Tom. Oh, hi, Tessa. We were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. My God, you look like a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. Yes. <clears throat> so we were out at the old house today. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprised it's even still standing. 
We found some stuff in Marianne's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? We want to ask you some questions about her. You're the only person who might have known Marianne better than us. I, I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. I know, but I need to ask. What is it? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Marianne was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. <sighs> what happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but it was God's plan. That's all we can know. I need to go now. Best of luck to you, truly. What the hell was that? I told she you she wouldn't talk. It's like she's got CIA training. Something's weird here. It's weird, right? Yeah. Yeah, I feel it too. It's like something's on the tip of my tongue. No storm? I meant to be looking for a memory. Oh, the office is open. Nine point five off off nine to five nine to five nine to five nine to five. Oh. Is there something I can do for you? So what are you doing there? Oh, just inventory. Guess I'm lucky I had the day off, huh? <laughs> yes, what a lucky coincidence. Okay. No, never mind. She's clearly not gonna open up about it anytime soon. Now they're in my way, bud. I know, maybe I'm not even making the right call here, but I feel like I need to be looking for some memories or something. I knew it! Hey guys, you all done yet? Yeah, Mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh? What's your excuse this time? Emergency repairs for the beaver dam? Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? Huh. Damn. I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it, but not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? Alright, <laughs> we'll try it. Uh, Mom? Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne? Can we talk? Uh... No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Okay. We remember that slightly differently. Yeah, just a I bit. I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know? But whatever happened, after that, they walked to the counter, and then Marianne flashed out at Tessa, right? Uh, no. I wanted Marianne to... Marianne defended us because Tessa got all preachy. Which is it going to be? Talk to you. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? We'll go with Tyler's Marianne. memory. Marianne. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Please, Marianne, I'm just trying. Stay away from my children. They don't need your guidance. I'm just trying to help. I don't need help. Not from you, not from anyone else in this fucking town. I'm done with all of you. You're done with the food I give you? The fuel? 
Maybe you are, but the kids are my children, Tessa. Mine, not yours. Please, let's not do this here. Let's go into my office. Fine. Okay. You two, wait here. What is wrong with you? Jesus. Whatever the truth is, it couldn't have been easy. I'm still skeptical, but okay. For now, let's say Marianne was being Marianne. But once they got into the office, they both went at it. Hard. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? Don't know. It was impossible to hear anything after she cranked up the music. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. Maybe we should just leave. You're not going to come in, Tyler? Is there something I can do for you? Sure. Earlier you said Marianne kept everything to herself, but you two had a big fight a few months before her death, didn't you? We argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. This wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. <sighs> I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Now... I was in the middle of something. Okay. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. I think she knows more than she's letting on. <sighs> Definitely. A uh, duh. But there's no way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about, she'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Maybe listening to it will trigger something. Hmm. You may be onto something here, Ronan. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. Okay. Why are we pitting them Let's against each other? That's not fair. We should go talk to Tom, right? See if he remembers the song. I suppose. Aren't you running for more gun control? My platform calls for sensible regulations, but folks around here need guns for safety. And as you know, we run extensive background checks before each and every sale. Hmm. Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? This might be a weird question, but do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time. <laughs> How could I forget? Uh, I think she's still got the CD back here. A little worse for the wear, of course. Uh, hold on. Nice thing's get. Uh, here it is. I was happy when it got put away, to be honest. A bit cheesy for my tastes. Great, now I'm gonna have to find cheesy music to put over this. This is it, right? <laughs> I think so. There's something so funny about them going, this is it, right? And then there's just nothing. <laughs> Whoa, I just got hit with a flood of memories. You seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah. Should we check this one out? I imagine we've got time to remember all of them. Stop! That's so embarrassing! <laughs> oh, yeah? Tessa, come join me. I know you love this song. No, I couldn't possibly. Some of us are actually trying to get work done here. <laughs> I forgot how carefree she could be. Yeah. What the hell happened? You think there's more memory? 
The kids keep pestering me for these candies, but they're so expensive. I'll just grab a bag. It's fine. Oh no. Oh, I'm standing right I in front of Tessa. <laughs> it's nothing. Okay. But write it down in your little notebook. Okay, okay. Whatever you want. There. Happy? Yes. And I'll be by on Wednesday to help you close. Like I promised. Tessa acted like she was Marianne's mom sometimes. I think you mean Tessa was self-righteous and treated Marianne like a charity case. She was trying to help. We should see if we can find that notebook she was holding. I know Tessa still keeps a bunch of them in here somewhere. Athletic, graceful, and spirited. Sounds like you. Sorry, I might be movie star handsome, but I can't act for shit. Can you believe Tessa and Tom were ever young? I heard that. <laughs> I may have a little less going on in the hair department, but you should see the rest of Delos High, class of 81. Fair enough. What are you doing here? Uh, I thought you needed help with the store. I needed help two hours ago. Have you been drinking? What? No, I just had a day, okay? I took a pill. I'm fine. Marianne. I said I'm fine. Kids, come on, let's go. Wait, please. I have something for you. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? They can handle this confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can help. What? What do you think that pamphlet was Tessa gave to Mary Ann? I don't know. I saw it in Mary Ann's room. It had a creepy vibe, but I didn't think much about it. It was bad, though. Like, maybe conversion therapy bad. I'm sorry. Whoa. If this is true, I want to know how Mary Ann felt about it. And we need to hit Tessa with some hard proof. Okay. Can I help you, Allison? Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. What's this doing ball. here? Ah, 2004. Anything interesting? I can't read it. Elijah, June 24. $24 for the meal at the restaurant paid off. September 11th, all for the kid. Never got paid off. Eric, February $50. March paid off February's deal. September 20 for gas paid in full. Marianne. No show. It April. looks like Marianne started flaking on her debt in October 2004. Five months before that night. April 50 bucks for gas paid off. May $37 for groceries and $30 with, for a new jacket for Allison paid off. Helped at store. June $21 for medicine paid off. August $40 for groceries paid off. Helped during rush inventory. October $140 for washing machine repairs. No show. November $55. New shoes for kids. Check bounce. December no show. Not returning calls. January no show. Uh, Tessa, is it okay if I run a quick Google search? My phone's dead. Sure, but make it quick. I'm going to need the computer. Barbara Mayfield, I know you don't want to have this conversation, but Lisa's flaked on rehearsals again. She hasn't shown up in weeks. Hey, Tessie, thank you. Just got back from my workation and found the girl sleeping in bed. Sleeping like happy logs. Adrian said they were riding high when you when you picked them up from your place today. And apparently you got them both to eat. Care? Care? Please let me know what St. What is care care? Kari Kari? I don't know. Please let me know what saint you prayed upon to pull that off. All morning they've been going on and on about the camping trip with Auntie Tessa and the s'mores and, they, and the bugs they caught. I can't remember the last time they were both happy at the same time. 
Usually it's one happy, the other one crying. I know you're busy with the store and getting ready to be first lady, so thanks for making time for them. I'm so sorry about the last minute drop off. You know how work has been. The girls say we love you, Auntie Tessa. P.S. You didn't tell them to come for dinner sometime. Uh, garlic peeler has been shipped. Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. Wait, what? Is that what she recommended for Tyler? Oh my god. I'm sorry, Tyler. Yeah. Let's see how Tessa explains this one away. Watch Dr. Whitmore's talk, articulating God's design for sexuality. Ten powerful Christian quotes that will change your life. A parent's guide to preventing same-sex attraction. Virtue Seekers Youth Camp now in its 20th year. I've told you the government owed you up to $10,000 cash to go to school. This is not a loan you won't have to pay back. This is not a scam. Take this. I think we've seen enough. Yeah, we've got a good sense of what went down. Let's talk to Tessa. Alright. Is there something I can do for you? We're back. With details that should help your memory. Oh, really? Oh, yes, I feel bad! Really. Marianne was having one of her days. You were trying to talk, but she wasn't cooperating. The two of you started arguing, and you went in the office and cranked up that song you both loved. Hmm. And when was that? Well, our memories don't exactly have timestamps. Oof. When did she start flaking? Uh, I think it would have been probably April? April 2004. Isn't that when she stopped trying to pay off her debts? Mm -mm. No, that doesn't sound right. We were still on good terms then. So you did end up on bad terms at some point? When? I honestly can't pinpoint the exact moment, but she got harder and harder to be around. I'm sure we never fought about money, though. I, I could see that she was struggling. Yeah, we didn't think you guys were arguing about money. We know you support the Alliance for Traditional Families, and that you gave her the pamphlet about their camp. What camp? Virtue Seekers. The Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. It was conversion therapy. You told her that Tyler should go there. I... Uh, um... I t I'm sorry. I'm really trying hard, but I just can't remember. Your mother acted erratic for months. We fought many times. Was it ever about me? It was always about a lot of things. She was struggling with everything at the end. Did you try to convince Marianne to send Tyler to some kind of program? No. And I think you should go now. Tessa, I'm here to figure out if Marianne tried to kill me because of who I am. Do you get that? I do. I just... Then why won't you help me? I truly don't understand what went on in her mind that day. And it will always be my deepest regret that I didn't see it coming. I hope you find your answers. I really do. I pray every night for you, too. But I... I have a lot on my plate right now, so I need to ask you to leave. What if... What if Shut Tyler wasn't the target? What if it was Tessa, and she saw Tyler first Can we have our snapped. groceries? Uh, um, Michael already put them in your trunk. Okay, thanks. Bye, Tom. Thanks, Tom. See you later! What are you thinking? Just trying to wrap my brain around all that. She led us on a bit of a conversational snipe hunt, didn't she? Yeah, but it's kind of an answer, right? She didn't want to admit what they were fighting about, which but makes me think it was me. You spooked her with that talk about the program. I think Marianne really was trying to figure out how to support me before whatever the hell happened that pushed her over the edge. You may be right. Yeah. She stood up for me, Allison. She was still crazy Marianne, but she saw me. I feel lighter. Like I've been carrying something around for the last ten years, and now it's gone. I... I'm really happy for you. But... That just opens a whole new box of Pandoras, doesn't it? Yeah, a whole damn shipping crate full. Well, it's a good thing Eddie's expecting us. He knew Marianne pretty well, and he was in charge of her case. 
Did he ever mention anything about the investigation to you? No, I never asked. And I'm sure he thought I was better off not knowing. Guess that might have made for some awkward dinner conversation. Exactly. But I mean, he's a good cop. Thorough. I'm sure he's got something. Let's go. Are they gonna make me go talk to Eddie?